Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and welcome to the final F123 Grand Prix Challenge video. Yes, we're back once again, of course, here in Abu Dhabi for the final last a question mark challenge. And of course, we couldn't really race as anyone else, could we? Max Verstappen, the most wins ever in a Formula 1 season, the most wins in a row in a Formula 1 season. But of course, no Formula 1 driver has ever won a GP starting from last place. We, we did actually manage it earlier on in this series. The first Grand Prix challenge we did uh, back at Suzuka, driving as Max Verstappen, we achieved it. And we, we've never managed it since. So are we going to be able to do it again today when we're back racing as the Dutchman? Only time will tell there. Sergio Perez, our teammate, will line up on the pole. Fernando Alonso in P2 ahead of Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris there. Charles Leclerc, Lewis Hamilton on row three ahead of Russell and Oscar Piastri with Alex Alban just getting inside the top 10 alongside Pierre Gasly, Stroll, Sonoda, Joe Ocon, Bottas and Magnussen with Ricardo Hulkenberg, Logan Sargent always in P19 and Max Verstappen starting at the rear of the field. But yeah, let's head trackside then ready for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Right, well, here we are then, lining up on the grid for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, the final race of the season. And yeah, we, we couldn't really do it this one as anyone else but Max Verstappen there. But I think this is what he should do tomorrow. No driver has ever won a Formula 1 race starting from dead last. And plus, it might make Abu Dhabi a little bit more exciting as well there. But going to try and go for the alternate strategy. No, I've clicked the wrong one. We're starting this race on the softs like everyone else. Five red lights. It's going to be lights out. And away we go there. Pretty clean and tidy start as we try and have a look down the inside of a handful of cars. In towards someone there, Holkenberg and Magnussen. Oh, as Bottas. Happy to get his elbows out through the first corner. We've still got Daniel Ricciardo trying to look around the outside through turn two, but we will hold him off by that one. We try and switch Bottas as we make our way down in towards the hairpin. Trying to have a look down the inside of a couple of extra cars here. Happy memories, of course, I'm sure, for the Dutchman as we will make a cheeky double overtake. I'm at a P16, then immediately we go of the GP. But yeah, Sergio Perez, our teammate, starting on the pole tonight. So he's got a chance to try and get his first win of the season since the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix all the way back in March there. We've got a car. Sorry, Baku, isn't it? I always forget that my, uh, Sergio Perez, sorry, won the Azerbaijan Grand Prix as well. But around the outside of Hulkenberg and Zhou Guan Yu, we've already overtaken one Haas and Alfa Romeo with a double overtake. We're going to try and switch to the inside. Oh, and just get a little bit of contact there. Joe hung firm. And, well, couldn't quite complete that move. In fact, we're going to lose a couple of spots there. A sergeant, a bit of P17 off the start of the GP. Again, we'll try and show the nose. But not quite able to make anything happen as we make our way down in towards the final couple of corners then. So not exactly been my greatest lap one of F123. As it is still Perez. That leads the way, but yeah, we've got time obviously to try and make a bit of an impact here. And you know, we have got quite a few laps to try and make sure that we get on with it. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments below where you think we'll finish this one tonight. Yeah, I think managing the battery pack as well is going to be quite important, especially when we're trying to navigate our way around some of these slower cars. No real need to use too much energy. Down the inside of Sergeant will go, and yet another move completed down at the hairpin. Next up, Kevin Magnussen. Well, of course, the new version of Abu Dhabi is still so much better than the old one, but it's still far from perfect. Kind of got a little bit hampered, didn't it, Abu Dhabi, at least in the F1 game? Because, of course, we got this new layout on F1 22, and it was still awful, um, just due to the nature of F1 22. But Perez, he already, we can see on the minimap, building up quite a big lead early on in this GP. Of course, he is at the front, so he should get first port of call as to when to pit here, but are we going to be able to try and get a run on Magnussen? We seem to be really strong out of the first couple of corners down the inside of the Dane, and that will be us back into P16 then, so back to where we were on lap one. Um, but yeah, can we this time around try and navigate Joe and Hulkenberg? Because I've noticed there's no way at all that I can see as to how you tell if the DRS is enabled in this car. There's no LED on the dash. There's no other light or anything. You see a little hand movement. But that'll keep happening over and over. 
if you're on the DRS or not. So we've kind of just got to try and keep tabs of it. Can we get a run, though, on Zhou Guan Yu? We can see a couple of cars battling a little bit further up the road. We wanted to potentially run wide and then switch back in on the Alfa Romeo, which we will do then, so side by side, to make our way down in towards the final few corners. Can we give him some space? Yes, we will. Right on the outside of Zhou Guan Yu, though, as it looks like Albon is causing an almighty train early on. Here we go, then. Nico Hulkenberg next up on the old hit list. Yeah, it might be another move down at the hairpin. Of course, made this move famous in 2021. Was not expecting it to end up being our best place to overtake in the race tonight. Team happy with that, though. It would be nice to get some more of the real-life uh, engineers, sorry, in. I reckon Giampero Lambiassi uh, would like to have a good go at everyone playing F123, but Albon's going to lose the place to walk on up the road. That takes way too much curb in the process. So that might leave him vulnerable to attacks from both Sonoda and ourselves. There is around the outside of the Avatari. No, we'll switch to the inside as Sonoda goes to the outside of the Williams. They're three wide again as we make our way down the back straight. And Albon, he's going to lose three places in a handful of corners there. He's going to try and fight back against Sonoda, and I think he has. But that's another double overtake. Go then, Esteban Ocon. Surely is going to be one of the easier cars to get round here. DRS versus an Alpine without it. Not even using battery and we're still making good gains. But yellow's out. Oh, Ocon, you can't do that. As have we had something go on down at the hairpin? Yes, we have. Sainz has gone round. So kind of overfiring our way into the corner there. He's going to allow us to gain some freebies. And that's going to be a red flag because it's been a roadblock. And we're up into P7 then. Slow down, maintain positive delta. I can only assume that Sainz has just dropped it on the throttle halfway through the, air, uh, through the chicane. Um, but yeah, we, we kind of found the right avenue then. And we're going to gain a load of freebies in the process. Stop, so let's think very carefully about our strategy for the rest of this race. Uh, mediums, they are going to be quite tight towards the end of this race. But we are going to roll with it in terms of the new strategy. But here we go then. Sainz 10 seconds worth of penalties. But we're back at the front. Five red lights. And it's going to be lights out. And away we go there. Hamilton not getting a particularly good start as we make the run back down in towards turn one. we got someone. One of the Alpines. Oh no, it's Lewis. Cuts across me there. We were trying to avoid Gasly on the inside of that first corner. And there will be contact. And we just about seem to have got away with it still. Um, but yeah, that was not ideal. Then Lando Norris to the lead of the GP. Team already trying to recommend me a new strap for whatever reason. Despite the fact we've literally just boxed. I don't think we picked up any damage in that instance. No, Carl's completely fine. It was just wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact between myself and Lewis there. As we clearly spotted the rogue Frenchman. Lewis apparently hadn't or was not interested in trying to give him any room on the inside there is Xilsti Gasly trying to battle it out with the Mercedes in front but yeah 14 laps to go then here from Abu Dhabi we've still got some work to do as Lando Norris could be on to try and get his first ever F1 victory making our way out the final corner Gasly all those heroics haven't quite worked out for him there as to the outside of the Alpine at turn one given the room but we will swoop through then back up into piece, uh, P8 sorry of the GP. Yeah, Gasly, I don't think that car has got the pace to fight with the big boys today. Right, Lewis Hamilton then. Next car in front of me. Of course, we'll, we'll try not to talk too much about the past battles around this venue between these two drivers, but hopefully we can try and complete a move on the Mercedes. That was almost like the start of Abu Dhabi 2021. And I said I, we weren't going to talk about those past battles, and immediately we've gone and done so. Uh, but yeah, Hamilton hanging on to the DRS of Carlos Sainz here. That Ferrari does look quick. Um, but yeah, that mistake early on has basically ruined his day with a 10-second penalty. Just got so much grip, though, through the corners. You can see immediately able to get on Hamilton's gearbox. Down the inside we go. Oh, in towards the final sector. A little bit of wheel banging. A little bit of snap over steer as well. There is all Hamilton. Will really get the elbows out there. Part the car. On our nose. Make our way in towards the final couple of turns, though. Can we just try and hang on? It's close to him. I think we're going to have to wait for the DRS zone. Oh, big moment as we go over the bumps down the hill. That was not quite what I wanted to do there. Just had a snap of oversteer. I wanted to keep my foot in, and now we might have lost the DRS. 
Almost thought we might get an opportunity to get a run on Lewis down at the hairpin, but as we make our way out onto the back straight once again, the Mercedes is going to go defensive here. He certainly put up the biggest fight of anyone so far this afternoon. Late on the brakes, make sure we give Hamilton the room on the inside there, but we will swoop through, get the power down on the exit, and we are now back at a P7 then of the GP. Still a big battle going on for the final, uh, sorry, for P2 here. As Alonso, Leclerc, and I believe George Russell all battling for it with Sergio Perez. But Lando Norris could be about to punch his ticket to P4 in the championship. Oh, here we go there. Three wide again. Perez to the outside. Charles Leclerc to the inside. And it looks like Fernando Alonso has been Ricardo Zontered at the end of the back straight there. Perez and Leclerc still by side as they make their way in towards the final sector once again. And we've just been very, very careful here. Not many opportunities to save up battery around this lap as Leclerc now will cement himself back into P2. But if we want any chance at Lando Norris before the end of this race, we've got to get through these cars rather quickly and methodically. Still seven laps to go of the GP. As to the inside of Carlos Sainz, we will look back into that first corner. Really try and pinch him on the inside there. Ran a little bit wide. I think we'd already completed the move. Oh, big moment again. Well, Russell might have a bit of an advantage right in the dying stages here on those hard compound tyres, but at the moment, I still don't think it's working for him. Mercedes tries to throw a bit of a block there. Just make sure that we keep wheel to wheel with him down the end of the back straight. And we will say thank you very much then. Almost get to the outside of Alonso as well through the corner, but... That's two cars navigated then. We need to get to the front of this group sooner rather than later there. Otherwise, Lando Norris could be in for a very, very easy end to this GP there. Fernando Alonso trying to do everything he can in that Aston Martin. So strong at the start of the year, but really has tapered off. And we're going to have a look down the inside at the final corner. Don't often see moves there, but that is going to be us into P4. Come on then, Sergio Perez. Are you going to help me out towards the end of this GP? Or are you in hot pursuit of Verstappen? Sorry, of Lando Norris himself there. Force a habit. Normally it is Max Verstappen that is leading the way at the front of a field. But Charles Leclerc still just tucked in behind. Will he try and get a run on my teammate? Will we be able to capitalise anywhere and potentially get them both? We've made a couple of double overtakes today. I'm not afraid from trying to go for another one as Leclerc just thinks about it. Oh, Perez. Mean block there down the end of the back straight. Charles Leclerc will take plenty of curb in the process. A little bit of contact as we try and switch the Ferrari car off the corner. Don't believe we picked up any damage though. We are now into P3. Lando Norris though, three seconds up the road. All right, here we go then, Sergio Perez. Spent so much time this year desperately thinking he can battle with Max Verstappen. He's already come out, hasn't he, saying he reckons he can be world champion next year. But down the inside we go. Whoa! Of the Red Bull. Just a little bit of contact there. I don't know if we met in the middle or whether he tried to move over towards me. Certainly rather scary, though, as four laps to go. The gap down to 2.2 seconds to Lando Norris. I've only completed one of these last of first challenges so far in F123. And it was the very first one we did back at Japan, where we drove as Max Verstappen. All the others have done different drivers. We haven't won. Um, are we going to go two for two as the Dutchman? Well, I think we need to get inside the DRS of Lando Norris before or by lap 19. Three laps to go here. That gap down to 1.8. It is still coming down. But this is likely going to be a battle that goes right down to the wire. Lando Norris desperate for his first ever win. Max Verstappen. It's just another one to add to the tally. Would push him one ahead of Sebastian Vettel. Oh, Lando is starting to struggle. We've made up bags of time through this final sector. This is really where this Red Bull comes alive. As other drivers and cars, their tyres starting to fall off. This thing still just finds the grip. And we could see the McLaren sliding around through those final few corners. We have got nothing of the sort. DRS now on the McLaren as we make our way up the back straight. Just one more lap to go after this one. 
Are we going to see Verstappen make yet another last lap pass here in Abu Dhabi? Whilst championships wrapped up this time round, that's not so high pressure. But it would still mean a lot to him, I'm sure. All right, in the final corner then to start the last lap. Here we go. One final lap of the Formula 1 season. Will it be Lando Norris? Will it be Max Verstappen that takes the victory here tonight in Abu Dhabi? We've tried desperately just to save up a little bit of battery over the last couple of laps there. Use that DRS to gain a bit of free time down the straights. But we've still got a quarter of a charge here as we make our way down into the hairpin. Are we going to be able to put the power down on the exit? Trying to be super smooth with our steering inputs there. And now you can see we are making gains on that McLaren. This Red Bull, we've seen it all year. So quick down the straights. We're not going to be close enough, though, into the chicane there. A little bit of front locking. That might just cost us a bit of rotation through the first part. As we are going to pick up the DRS once again, then open up as we make our way out into the final real opportunity to try and make a pass here. Will Lando Norris have enough? As we have a look down the inside on the brakes there, the McLaren gives us the room. No contact was made, and we are through and into the lead on the final lap of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. We've just got to try and hang on through the final couple of corners here, and it looks like once again... Max Verstappen is going to make it 20 wins, I believe, from a 23-race Formula 1 World Championship through the final couple of corners we go. And we are going to be back on top once again here in Abu Dhabi. It's last to first. A real team effort then, which has paid off in spades. A great victory here at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Tell me, Anne. How do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, when you overtake that many people, I'd certainly hope you'd win the race. Their car was really effective in the slipstream here today, and the team would be pleased that they didn't cook the engine, given how long they were spending in the hot air behind other cars. They had a lot of confidence to push their tyres hard as well, especially going into the corners, which allowed for some late braking and some exciting passes. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid, clean driving throughout the event. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who's joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Well, there we are then. I mean, would it end any other way? Max Verstappen takes the win here in Abu Dhabi. They're half a second ahead of Lando Norris with Sergio Perez in P3 there. It does mean uh, in that battle for P4 in the championship, the final results would read Lando Norris 213, Charles Leclerc on 200, Fernando Alonso on 210, um, and I believe Charles, uh, Carlos Sainz there will be on 202. So Charles Leclerc wouldn't uh, yeah there'd be no well lando would jump everyone into p4 fernando would remain in p5 uh charlotte would sorry carlos would remain p6 and charlotte claire would end up still in p7 after that race weekend but yeah a massive thank you to everyone that has watched and enjoyed this video the grand prix challenges of course you know it's gonna be a shame uh to say goodbye i've been really enjoying doing these videos in cockpit camera but that being said, I do have some very, very exciting news regarding that in the near future. But yeah, hopefully everyone enjoys the championship. Well, it's not really the championship finale. The season finale in Abu Dhabi tomorrow. And yeah, you know, through a rough Formula 1 season, I cannot thank you guys all enough for the continued support on my work. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And we'll be back very, very soon with more Formula 1 content.
A massive thank you to all of my YouTube members and my Patreon supporters for their continued donations to help my work. These things go much further than I think a lot of you ever realise and allow me to continue making content full time here on YouTube. So if you want to support me from as little as £1 a month and be featured on all of these end clips, either click the join button next to the subscribe or head over to my Patreon, there's a link down in the description.